Thank you so much. The Award of Merit is presented in recognition of outstanding contributions to the musical entertainment of the American public. And this year's honoree more than fills the bill. He is the country's best-selling solo artist with over 100 million albums sold. Four albums won Diamond Awards, the designation for an album selling over 10 million copies, and 25 of his singles went number one. Add to all that his record-breaking concerts and TV specials. Here now is a look at the incredible career of Garth Brooks. Garth's first number one hit, he sang it as a nominee for the ACM's 1990 New Male Vocalist Award. If tomorrow never comes. And this guy had four number one hits in his debut year. The dance. Tomorrow definitely did come the very next year. The dance sung by Garth Brooks. No fences. Top male vocalist is Garth Brooks. I want to thank Garth Brooks for not being nominated in this category. <laughs> One, two, How about three, this category? Four. Garth Brooks. Over the years, through all his awards, Garth continues Garth to Brooks. thank God and his the family, time, acknowledge co-workers and fans, Garth and pay Brooks. generous yeah. respect to his Garth fellow Garth. artists. Uh, George, you're the man. I mean, you are. Most of all, he likes to honor his musical hero. <laughs> the possum rides again, Mr. George Jones. And it was just a year ago that I had the privilege of sharing the stage with tonight's honoree. How's this for a surprise, big man? <laughs> Lots of excited people can get this guy a little crazy. Ladies and gentlemen, Billy Joel. Several of Garth's songs and videos have dealt with our society's deeper issues and emotions. I could have missed the pain Living without regret But I'd have had to miss The day And the thunder roll The problem of domestic abuse this The bombing tragedy in his native Oklahoma It will not change And the hope for peace, tolerance, and brotherhood. And love. And the greatest of these is love. That's cool. As wonderful as it is to listen to Garth Brooks' recordings, in his case, seeing is really believing. Starting with his first network special in 1992. He returned to Dallas in 1993. In 97, Garth drew the largest crowd ever to attend a concert in Central Park. Scarecrow, he performed coast to coast to coast with three live network specials. A high wind and a freezing rain didn't stop Garth or his audience from enjoying the show. And throughout his career, Garth's sold out globe spanning tours have turned country music into world music.
Well, Garth, here's what a good friend of yours has to say about your merit award, James Taylor. Well, not to get too wanky about it, but in my opinion, uh, no one deserves it more. You're a great player, a passionate musician, and a gentleman to boot. And your contribution to American music is undeniable. So, Garth, old pal, congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, Merit Award honoree, Garth Brooks. year you kind of stand up here and you just uh, try and go off the cuff I've never been any good at this I kind of knew this one uh, was coming so if you don't mind I kind of I got some people I'd like to thank uh, first and foremost uh, the family at Capitol Records uh, uh, I hope forever that the flag I'm under is under Capitol Records guys like Jim Fogelsong and Lynn Schultz uh, that, that signed me a guy named Jimmy Bowen and Joe Mansfield, uh, James Fifield, that's when it really took off for us. And then a guy named Pat Quigley, which, what can I say about Pat? Uh, Mike Dungan, um, guys like Lott and Barry, uh, they've just been very sweet to me. To all the artists, I hope you get to work with a guy as sweet as Joe Smith. I hope you get to work with people as smart as Terry Santisi. Uh, uh, Alan Reynolds, the producer, Mark Miller, the seven guys that play on every record from the very first single to the very last one, uh, Bobby Wood, uh, Mike Chapman, Milton Sledge, Chris Lusinger, Rob A. Jacobs, Bruce Bouton, and uh, I guess uh, Mark Cass Stevens. Uh, those guys, I love you. The Stillwater Band and crew, everyone in Nashville, the Fab Four, uh, Kerry O'Neill, Rusty Jones, Kelly Brooks, uh, a manager, and uh, Bob Doyle, my manager. I love you guys to death. Um, to James Taylor. James Taylor is why I play music. Uh, I feel very lucky. Thank you, James, for that. The reason that I'm in country music is because of a guy, uh, two guys, George Strait and George Jones. Those are my guys in country music. Um, I'm sorry, I'm trying to do this really quick. Um, I don't think you can talk about a Garth Brooks career without mentioning uh, Sandy Brooks. Even beyond marriage, she has been great to me and her family's been great to me. And uh, my three girls, Taylor, August, and Allie, I am madly in love with you. To the people and to God, thank you very, very much for everything that you've given. <laughs> 